Ecological engineering applied to aquatic environments, projects with multiple benefits. A common concern today for aquatic environments is the preservation or restoration of their quality. To achieve this, decision makers, managers, designers and engineers must find environmentally friendly solutions in accordance with the Water Framework Directive, the Flood Directive and more recently the Marine Strategy Framework Directive. Numerous actions which are often unknown make it possible to apply these types of solutions. Among them, those relating to ecological engineering are gaining increasing interest due to their various benefits to the environment and its occupants. They are inspired by the natural processes of ecosystems to improve, restore, preserve and maintain their quality. Faced with daily challenges that may be climatic, ecological, societal and economic, these actions provide elected representatives with sustainable solutions. So what can we do and why act now when we have artificialized the environment for decades? Here are four examples of ecological engineering actions that have resulted in positive results for the environment and ecosystems and also for the community's budget and the quality of life of citizens. Floods are part of the natural processes that structure freshwater ecosystems, but also cause significant human, material and financial damages. Ecological engineering actions help prevent certain floods. Works for mitigation of floods have begun upstream from a peri-urban area. Along a river, expansion reservoirs have been created. These are water storage areas in the event of flooding, which also host animal and plant life. Along the river, the banks have been left in their natural state to avoid impending lateral erosion. A key process that provides sediment to rivers, diversifies habitats and ensures high biodiversity. Contrarily, when the river runs near houses, the banks, for example, can be stabilised with wooden crib walls in order to protect economic developments and activities against erosion and flooding. This is a solution that reconciles the ecological restoration of degraded environments with flood prevention and provides numerous ecological, financial and societal benefits for all of the watershed. Rainwater management is a challenge for cities. Saturation of rainwater drainage networks is a source of flooding and pollution. Alternative evacuation solutions exist. Within the city, a valley brings rainwater to green basins arranged in cascades. This structure filters water, removes congestion from rainwater systems and recharges groundwater. It contributes to the development of biological and landscape diversity and has a high educational quality, promotes evaporation and helps combat urban heat islands. In the event of heavy rainfall, it reduces the flow released into the river and limits the risk of flooding. This type of work requires maintenance actions. This type of ecological engineering action has many advantages, both in terms of quality of life and for ecology, health and education. Agricultural areas can sometimes generate pollution. Water runoff pollutes rivers and groundwater with pesticides and fertilizers. This can lead to ecological imbalances. In addition to the efforts made in agricultural practices, as well as in the preservation or restoration of existing wetlands, ecological engineering solutions exist that can further halve pollution. Between several agricultural plots and the downstream river, Green buffer zones have been created with local species, if possible to purify runoff water. The concept is to stimulate the natural purification process by giving the ecosystem time to transform it. Water then flows to a small river with green banks. This is a sustainable solution that, without consuming a lot of space, makes it possible to reduce water and soil contamination while inducing landscape and recreational diversity. Harbour waters are at the interface between local watershed and the sea. 
Significant efforts have been made in recent years to improve their quality. The ecology engineering effort is now focused on restoring the nursery function of harbours, the growth of very young fish from certain small coastal areas that have been damaged or lost during harbour development, the installation of artificial habitats on maritime and harbour infrastructures allows young coastal fish to continue their life cycle before returning to the open sea. This new ambition also leads harbour managers to pay even greater attention to the quality of harbour waters and, if necessary, to strengthen their actions by being more demanding. It is a virtuous circle for ecology, quality of life and marine ecosystems. In aquatic environments, ecological engineering can contribute to reconciling several objectives within a single project and thus provide several benefits. It participates in nature-based solutions that rely on healthy, resilient, functional and diversified ecosystems to respond to the effects of global change. For more information, please consult our collective works on ecological engineering applied to aquatic environments.